Theory. Let me start right at the beginning by emphasizing that a lot of people are looking for the origins of human uniqueness in the emergence of modern humans, symbolized by the, the image right here, very recently, let's say in the last 50,000 years. On social coercion theory, we believe humanness has much greater time depth than that, 1.6 to 1.8 million years uh, at least. And it follows, for example, that Neanderthals and modern humans who coexisted 50,000 years ago were equivalently human by any reasonable uh, measurement. And we argue that our ancestors largely displaced Neanderthals as a result of a particular kind of social accident. Okay, so to understand social coercion theory, we have to begin at a well-documented and fundamental fact about the world. All non-kin individual animals have conflicts of interest, as symbolized by the fighting individuals here. Humans are unique because we are the first animal to control those conflicts of interest. Moreover, we do this in a simple, specific, universal way through the present instant, as illustrated on this slide. We... <laughs> We take advantage of the capacity of projectile weapons to allow large cooperative coalitions to inexpensively project overwhelming coercive threat against what game theorists call free riders, social parasites, non-cooperators. As a result, in us, for the first time in the history of life on Earth, cooperation between non-kin becomes policeable and therefore a Darwinian adaptation. This, as you'll see in the next couple of minutes, is a revolutionary uh, transition. Of course, guns are a very recent uh, invention. We believe that, it, that practical projectile weapons became available to our ancestors for the first time as the result of the evolution of elite aim throwing. So humans throw with the same kind of virtuosity that a, that a dolphin swims or a cheetah runs. Our minds and bodies have clearly been redesigned for this specific behavior. Moreover, there's sound evidence that elite throwing is at least 1.6 to 1.8 million years old. Now, at first glance, of course, it's a little disturbing that our access to inexpensive social coercive violence is the origin of our uniqueness. But let me argue to you that there is a diametrically opposite and very important perspective to take. In us, the humane cooperation is a Darwinian adaptation because of the parallel Darwinian capacity to coercively suppress inhumane behavior. So, we argue that the evolution of elite throwing is the ultimate cause of all of the other properties of human uniqueness that we've been hearing about.